Hi, I'm Tony Vernetti, a trainer with Enphase Energy. Today we're diving into some powerful new features of the fourth generation Enphase Energy system. Load control using the IQ Combiner 6C and how it will also enable integration with both legacy Enphase microinverters and even third party solar inverters. At the heart of this setup is the IQ Combiner 6C. It combines solar and battery circuits into one enclosure and houses the IQ gateway, the brain of the system. And it includes a built-in load control port, which can also be a solar input in the near future. Here's what it can do today. It has a dedicated breaker slot and built-in relay to control loads. You can program it for automatic load shedding when in backup or load shedding based on the battery state of charge. With a quad breaker, you can control two loads or you can control power to an entire subpanel if you wish. It supports up to an 80 amp breaker in the load control slot. And it has pre-wired CTs for measuring electrical current of the loads or connected PV. Over the next several months with over-the-air software updates, we will enable the integration of legacy Enphase and third-party inverters into this load control port. These updates will roll out in two phases by the end of 2025. Please read the video description below for more information on the release of this feature. The first software update will support the connection of an existing PV system into the load control port of the Combiner 6C. This could be a PV system with legacy Enphase microinverters or even with a third-party solar inverter. Basically, any existing PV system can be connected to a new Enphase solar and battery system. The existing PV system will operate when the home is connected to the utility grid. However, it would be disconnected if the new Enphase system goes off-grid due to a power outage. There are nuances to how the system will operate if it's installed in California or outside of California. If it's installed in California, the system must comply with the NEM multi-tariff rules. The built-in CTs on the load control port allow for monitoring the existing PV power to meet zero export requirements. And the existing PV system still exports to the grid for full NEM credits. This configuration allows added batteries to charge from the new PV system, but the batteries won't charge from the existing PV system. During outages, the existing PV disconnects and turns off, but the new system stays on. If the system is installed in a state other than California, the existing PV system can charge the battery while the system is on grid. During outages, however, the existing PV disconnects and turns off, and the new system stays on. Then, with the second software update, off-grid battery charging by existing PV will be supported going forward. No new Enphase PV is required, though of course it can be added if more solar energy is desired. It's a perfect solution for homeowners wanting to add an IQ Battery 10C to any existing PV system. Integrations of existing PV which occurred before the second update won't automatically start doing off-grid battery charging. However, installers have the option to go back and change the necessary system settings to enable off-grid charging if the required design parameters are met. Since the load control port can also be used as a solar input, a common question we hear is, can the system do both load control and PV integration? The answer is yes with another software update coming by the end of the year. Here's how it works. Existing PV connects to the load control port and a built-in pilot relay controls an external contactor for load shedding. The contactor is purchased separately and typically installed near the main panel. Okay, let's recap the phases of this rollout. Update one supports the integration of existing legacy Enphase or third-party PV, but it would turn off if the system disconnected from the grid. Update two supports off-grid battery charging from legacy Enphase or third-party PV. And by the end of the year, you'll be able to do both load control and integration of existing PV. We hope this helped clarify the current and future capabilities of the fourth generation Enphase Energy System with the Combiner 6C. Thanks for watching.